time, there's over 3,000 total works of art. These are the three that I've pulled out that I kind of want to kind of make sure that we all recognize that these are still available to, to be collected today. So first and foremost, this is that Pablo Picasso from the Villard Suite. You know, the opportunity to collect Picasso from the leading dealer in the world in graphic Picasso Park West Gallery. I mean, think about the fact that we have the largest collection available to us and we make these sparingly available to each show in different ways. And this is the sculptor in the studio. So this is Picasso, his muse, Mary Therese in the 1930s. And you're looking at an incredible value here at $74,500. So this is one of those major opportunities. If you want to take this off the market, use 20% down, remove it, talk to your concierge about how that works and they can walk you through it. But you have an opportunity to get this work and then get this incredible incentive of collector's cash. 20% collector's cash uh, back for Sunday evening tonight or a future telecast. So think about that. This is an amazing opportunity to get a hand signed example and I reiterated this yesterday, but where an unsigned example, for example, hangs in the MoMA and you have a, a pristine condition Perfect example of this work, hand sign. The next work is the Albrecht Durer piece. The Albrecht Durer piece is 30,500. It is 500 years old. Think about the context of this work. Think about removing the negative space. Each line would actually be two lines. And think about what's, what's possible in the Renaissance in terms of the information that they have, in terms of creation of depth and precision and utilizing uh, you know, a graphic medium for the first time and mastering it for the first time. You know, think about Rembrandt and all the artists that follow Durer. In terms of technical virtuosity, this is one of the greatest artists in the history of art. And we're looking at a work of art that was executed in 1511, printed in 1511, has Latin text on the back, and has traveled over 500 years. And it is in excellent shape. There are no visible rips or tears, discolorations. It's just a work of art that you, you in terms of putting into your collection, something historically important. This is the benchmark of art history, and this is how the woodcut evolves from works like this in the early 1500s. And there's one artist that's doing it like this, one singular artist that's doing it in this complex way, in this innovative way, in this way that impacts all of art history afterwards. And that's Albert Durer. This is from The Life of the Virgin. Uh, woodcut was created originally in 1505. The impression comes from 1511. $30,500, that needs to get collected today. That's as good as it gets. Now, the star of our, our master's collection actually ends up being this Marcel Mouly painting, right? You think about Mouly and an artist that's in 20 major uh, modern art museums around the world. This is, uh, I think, maybe the largest collection of the Park West archives of Mouly and one location in the world today. And we've been able to put museum shows together, you know, curate shows, loan them to various museums, take works from our archives and make them available in various ways through the telecast and through some of our shows like Jordan's VIP events. In this case, we have something that wasn't repriced, wasn't, e wasn't reevaluated before the show. This was kind of slipped into the show and we're looking at an opening bid that doesn't really correlate to what we normally see these movies going for. This is a 1964 example. It's $43,200. It's one of the strongest examples I've seen from the early 1960s in any context of movie, any composition, any motif. But I just love the, the tonalities, the glazing, that translucent energy that comes through this painting. And uh, you have an opportunity here to get uh, an artwork at the price point that it won't be next week. Albert made that very clear and he reiterated that again today. He's going to hold this price because it's been made available this way uh, this weekend. But if this makes it out of today, which I, I highly doubt it will, uh, you're going to see a shift here in a different appraisal. And uh, that's part of the context of what we have available to you. So three major works, Picasso, Albert Durer, Marcel Mouly, uh, you know, your pick of some, uh, some major benchmarks in art history.